No one wants to be in the path of a tornado, but scientists sometimes become storm chasers to research extreme weather. Hear one former storm chaser recount her experiences being in the path of a tornado. Inside Science. As a volunteer who is driving some of the storm chase vehicles for the Virginia Tech field experience, we've had a lot of really exciting kind of visual experience of seeing tornadoes from a distance. The one that I remember most was in 2008. We were driving vans through Waukini, Kansas, and we looked up at the sky and there was this kind of blistery cloud that was descending from the sky, and our storm chase leader, he turned off down a dirt road and there was a whole bunch of chasers there, this chaser convergence as they call it. And we sort of parked and thought we were gonna watch this lovely tornado descend and, and cross maybe the field in front of us, but we weren't expecting that we would get some of the, the winds in what they call the bear's cage. So the tornado comes down, it crosses in front of us, and the winds that are getting entrained around the tornado are pushing you know, hail pretty quickly. And so we're getting pummeled with quarter size hail. And it was, it was a little bit of a terrifying experience. We were safe, but we're watching this tornado go in front of us and hearing all of this hail hitting our vans and everybody, all the chasers are trying to bail because not that we were in danger from the storm, of course, from the tornado winds, at least specifically, but we were in danger of losing wind chills. So we're backing out of there and driving as quickly as we can away. We eventually backed our way out of that storm and got to a place where we could watch kind of the lightning spider the sky from a safe distance and tell our war stories of how we almost, you know, ended up in a tornado. Not really, but that's how we felt. So it was a really exciting time, but our chase leaders, you know, after that, they emphasized that that was an unusual situation that they couldn't anticipate because you can't anticipate what's gonna happen in the near environment of a tornado. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.